Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use RenderDoc to import Google Maps scenery into Blender. The first thing you're going to need is RenderDoc. Uh, all links will be in the description for everything I use today. So first you're going to notice we're going to have to inject a process uh, into Chrome. To do that we need to first enable it by going to settings and enabling process injection. Hit OK, restart RenderDoc. Now you'll notice when I go to File, I'll have this Inject Into Process option available. Uh, next, you'll need Google Chrome, um, and we'll act we're actually going to need to modify it by uh, adding this to the target. Um, so again, I'll have this in the description. But once you have this uh, in the shortcut, when you open Google Chrome, it's going to give you this uh, notice here, GPU starting with PID and it's going to give you a number. So then we go to render doc, uh, hit inject into process, and you find that PID. So in our case, it was 29,712. Scroll down. And here it is, 29,712. And then hit, hit inject. So now uh, we can go into, we can hit OK here. And we can go to uh, Google Maps. Now we just find the region which we want to capture. Uh, for example, let's do Central Square, Central Park in New York. Okay, uh, turn on layers. Minimize this. And then you can here you can go on more. Uh, you can Remove labels if you want. And you want to go into 3D view. And let's capture this, for example. Okay. If you do control and mouse drag, you can tilt the view, and this is important for actually capturing, um, actually capturing the uh, scenery for render doc. So Alt mouse click is pan. Alt uh, left middle mouse click and control left middle mouse click. Uh, control left middle mouse click is orbit. So now we go into render doc, and what I like to do is capture after delay of about three seconds. Uh, this gives me time to go back into the window and start uh, orbiting my view a bit. So just click this, go back, and then just orbit a bit. And you'll notice when it's actually capturing, you'll notice like a little delay there. So now I have it. Uh, double click it to load the capture. And if you go into the texture viewer, you'll notice all, we have all of these different passes. So then all I need to do is just go to File, Save Capture As and just make a new folder for it, if you'd like. And then just save it. Okay, uh, now we can simply go into Blender and using a plugin called the Maps Model Importer Go to import, Google Maps capture.rdc, navigate to the capture, and import it. So usually it's going to take a little bit of time as it is a very complex mesh. And there it is. 
So if you go into material preview, you can actually see all of the uh, textures that are applied to it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, in my other videos, I explain how to uh, refine it a bit as well as create a high to low poly bake of it. Okay, hope you found that helpful and I'll see you again soon.